Hi friends, uh, today I'm going to do uh, uh, an Apple 14 Pro screen repair. So as you can see the screen is damaged here. The back camera is fine and uh, it fell off a concrete uh, slab and it's been broken. So what I want to do now is take off the bottom screws with Pentelope screwdriver and keep the screws aside. So we're going to reuse those Pentelope screws. So now I'm going to hit the phone, hit the LCD for somewhere around three to four minutes at around 80 degrees. If you have a hair dryer, you need to keep it, keep blowing it on the phone. So I have a hot plate, so I'm just going to use the hot plate for this phone. All right. So it goes for heating up now. So friends, the phone has been heated up. So I'm going to take off the LCD. So insert your pry tool over here. Now, please be careful. The phone screen is quite hot. So if you could wear your gloves, then that's quite helpful. So once you get some space, as you can see, I got some space here. So once you have the space, you can insert your plastic tool in and try and lift it from the right hand side where you have the power button here. So lift it ever so slightly because you got flexes on the on the left hand side of the phone so you see how much gap is there now here try not to lift this too much here so now that i have got leverage to pry it off so please note i haven't lifted this part of the screen because there's a flex over here the earpiece flex you don't want to damage that uh, if you do then your face id won't work so try and pull it towards you down and then it will release the notches on the phone try and lift it up slightly you see try and shake it a bit and then it's going to pop out so why i was very careful is because of this flex here you don't want to rip it up this one it's fine because you're going to replace the screen so this is the notch which goes which goes inside over here if you can see there's some notches holding it so when you pull it down this thing comes off from this notch so let's take off all the screws so i've got one two three four five six seven eight so let's take them all off they are tri-point screws you will get a tri-point screwdriver on ebay so try and keep them aligned or organized for you to reuse them uh, you don't want to mix them up uh, some of them could be having slightly different sizes and you don't want to end up damaging your main board so make sure the screws go in the same hole from where they have come from so take them off and keep them as per you take them out i'll just show you again the close-up of them So as you got them off, you can see that uh, this plate, this plate will come off from here. So just lift it up slightly and then take it off. So this plate goes inside this small bracket here. It goes under the bracket. All right. So make sure when you put it back, it goes under there, under from here, under the bracket. So keep a note of that kindly so once you take off the bracket the first thing you need to do is disconnect the battery so this is the battery connector over here so just let's take it off once you take that off you can disconnect the lcd connector so this is the lcd and this is your your proximity flex which you don't want to damage it's going to 
uh, make your face ID stop working. So we need to transfer this to the new screen. So you got two screws here. Uh, the best thing about them is they're both Phillips screws. So take them off. And keep them aside. Make sure you keep them properly because you don't want to mix them up. And uh, let's hit the screen up so it makes our life easy to take this flex off. You can see here. So friends, so I have heated up this flex. So try and pull it off. Uh, this flex is a bit easier than the other phones like the 12 Pros and the 13 Pros. So let's take it off. And pull this flex off. So there you go as you can see this flex is this is the ambient sensor this is the proximity sensor so to put it back let's put it on the other screen so what we need to do is i'm just going to show you on the same screen how to put it back on so just align it and press it down and put it back and put the screws on there you go as simple as that all right so this is how you change or move it over to the new screen and uh, that's how you have to do it so there you go so I'm just going to order the screen and then I'll install it uh, on the next uh, video. So friends, so I have got the new screen. I have installed the flex here. So let's connect it. As you can see, it's a brand new screen. And I'll just take it, take the screen protector off. And uh, the same thing, just connect your LCD flex. Make sure your battery is disconnected align it and press it down same thing with this flex press it down and then connect your battery with this one as i said there's a notch which you need to put this bracket in so i will make sure it goes below the notch and then make sure it sits on the holes align them and screw the screws down try not to fully tighten the screws because you need to make sure all the holes are properly aligned I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps my channel. So as you can see, I am going to screw all the screws back in. It's pretty simple. Just make sure the screws have been organized pretty well. So once the holes have been aligned, try and screw them down. As you can see, I'm just revisiting all the screws and tightening them up because now I know that all the screws are going well inside. So there you go. The phone should be good enough. Uh, just, let's just start it and see if it works, which should work. There you go, guys. The phone is starting fine and you just need to insert it on the top first and then over here make sure it's properly flush with the frame and then make sure your flexes are not getting pinched and then press the screen down there you go the last thing we need to do is there you go it's working fine the last thing we need to do is put on your bottom screws and tighten them up
I hope you liked the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thank you for watching. And uh, start fixing your phones. There you go. All good. Thank you for watching. See ya.